Welcome to Larry's Fountain Pens, and here is your host, Larry the Pin Bug Guy. Kids, don't do this at home. Yeah, I'm back. Ta -da! That's one hell of a presentation. Knock it, dig it, I'm in. Well, thank you, Mr. Announcer. I'm Larry. I'm the Pin Bug Guy. You got it, baby. Rock and roll. So, without further ado, -do, here we go. Box came in. Let me tell you a little bit about this box because it's not just a box, it's a special box and that's how it got started. A friend of mine, uh, Doug, who I introduced six months ago to fountain pens, I started with the Jin Hao. Uh, with the, uh, I think it was the 588, which was a, or 599, excuse me, the medium demo. Jin Hao pen with a medium nib. And then he liked that so well, I gave him the 588 black metal Jin Hao pen with a fine nib, which I absolutely love the Jin Hao fine nibs. At one time, couldn't stand them. I made them a bit wetter, and I love them. Anyway, and then I introduced him to Goulet pens where he got a uh, Edison Blue Steel fountain pen, absolutely kick monster butt. Edison rocks, great pens, I love them. And then I introduced him to Anderson pens, and he bought inks and a fountain pen, which I forgot. So. I'm teaching them all about what I know about fountain pens. And I'm showing him how to operate a fountain pen, how to put a converter in or a cartridge. Now, for some folks may think it's silly, but for a person that never has used a fountain pen, it's some serious business. And uh, show them how to fill a fountain pen, how to clean a fountain pen. So, and all this is some serious work, and I have worked every day of the week teaching him. And we do this at Starbucks. We have our little table that we sit at with our other friends, and we talk and share about our fountain pen stories. So, he ordered a fountain pen that I've done a video on, and I'll finish that up tomorrow on him, so I won't tell you what he ordered. I want that to be a surprise. But here's what he ordered for me, which came in today from Apple Boom. And thank you, Youth, for the order. This is what it came in. Packed very well. And I'll just put this box aside. And see that here is the pen. As always, they come gift wrap. So this can go to whoever you want it to go to, and it's nicely gift wrapped. That's what I like about Apple Boom. They just, you know, the presentation is just nicely gift wrapped. So let's go ahead and ungift wrap it and see what's in here. I know what's in here. I've been dying for this for over a month. But the reason why it took so long is because I wanted a broad nib in this pen. So it had to go back to the place I'm getting it from. I'm not going to say the name yet because that will give it away. Isn't that really nice wrapping paper? Okay, so now let's open it up. 
Wow, that's cool. This box, it cardboard box it comes in, but I've never seen this one kind before. So here we go. And here is the pen, Mont Blanc. So it went back to Mont Blanc to get a broad nib on it. Interesting. This is a really nice, not just a cardboard box, but a reinforced cardboard box on the inside. Very stirrable, durable box. Not just a thin cardboard box, but a very thick one. So that's important, especially when you're doing pins of this nature. So here we go. And here is this beautiful work of art. Mr. Announcer? Uh, that is in French. I don't do French. But it is a Mont Blanc what? Uh, writer's edition. Thank you, Mr. Announcer. So, here we go. We'll open it up. And it's a book. Is it not? This is a book. It comes in this really nice book box and we'll open up the book there we go that is the pin case it looks like a book isn't that cool looks just like a book and here is the Mont Blanc uh, tells you all about the pen and I better look at it for a while because the limited edition number 5151 dash looks like a G or Q. I guess that's an 860 mountain pen. And the date of purchase. So this is a limited edition. Cool. And this is all about the pen that I ordered. And God knows I've been wanting one of these sometime. And Doug bought this pen for me because, like I said, I've worked with Doug seven days a week with pens. Every morning we have met, we've talked, discussed, and looked at pens, pens, pens. So his way of thanking me was buying me this pen. And what's cool about it, here are the writing samples of the Mont Blanc nibs. Here's your extra fine, fine, medium, oblique medium. I have the medium, oblique medium. Here's an oblique broad. Here's an oblique BB broad. Here's the broad, but I just got. And here's the double broad, BB broad. So, I'm thinking my next Mont Blanc may be a fine. I'm also looking at the oblique broads. I like them all so far. I also have the 14K medium nib, which is a magnificent nib on it. So let's get to the stuff we've been waiting for. Are you guys ready? I know I am so ready. Are you ready, Mr. Announcer? Yes. As we open up this beautiful pin case box with this beautiful instrument in this pin box. Yes, I'm excited. I'm dynamite excited. And here we go. God knows I'm excited. There he sits. The magnificent little prince. Beautiful fountain pen. Would you say this was a black? It does look black. Beautiful pen. I am just looking at this amazing fountain pen. You got on the very top on the finial, you have your Mont Blanc emblem. On the clip, nice clip, let's do it on the pocket. Fits on there, perfect. And this fountain pen Supposed to resemble the plane of the first flight, I believe. 
that the gentleman took. And this pen was made in his honor. The Little Prince. And it's got like rivets, like from the airplane would be, up and down the barrel and the cap. And look at this cap. Then we go down the barrel to the bottom. And it has down here, get the old eyeglass. Got a number. Here is the numbers on this at the end. Interesting. Three, four, two, seven, one, one, S. Five, eight, three, five, two, two, W. And they all stand for like North, East, West, maybe. Maybe they're given a, a longitude or altitude or something. I don't know. I'm just guessing because I have not looked at the book yet. I'm just doing this right out of the box. But these numbers, they do stand for something. I'm sure somebody out there in the Larry's Fountain Pen world will notice this pen and either have one or know a lot about it. If you do, leave your comments below. But, you know, I will read the book here. And I'll find out all about it. It's an unscrew cap. Let me set this aside. And get into the pen. Really nice foam it sits into. So that it's well protected. Just a really super nice presentation. Mont Blanc kick butt. I love the pin case. Looks just like the book. There it is, the back. Really nice. So, back to the pin. And let me do this. Unscrew it. And on the bottom of the cap here, it has the Mont Blanc. Mont Blanc again. And again, Mont Blanc. I don't know if you can see the details and the work of this pen. Like rivets, wouldn't you say? Yes. From the airplane. And here on top, up here, would be the name of, again, of the pen. The Antonio de Saint Expiry. Ed Perry, however you pronounce that word. And then up here on top, it does have my initials. L-A-B. Cool. I forgot all about that. I don't know if you can see the initials. Kind of. Kind of hard, but maybe if I do this with it. Uh... How about that? No? Okay. But anyway, they're up there. So, nice pin. And does it unscrew? No, because this is how you fill it with a piston. That is really cool. Really a nice pin. So, I'll be right back. And we'll talk more about the pen. All right, folks, I'm back. Now, Mr. Announcer is going to read from you from the book that came with it about the pen. And uh, it will go over some parts that I have. But 
I am just totally overwhelmed because I'm telling each and every one of you that God knows I am so blessed to have friends that care enough to support my channel, as you guys do. It doesn't have to be send me pins, or it doesn't have to be that you send me any contributions through PayPal or through Patreon. It's just being you supporting my channel by watching my reviews when they come on. That means a lot to me. So don't think just because... I get a pen of this quality or any kind of pen. I appreciate you just watching my channel. I appreciate your support. Send me inks or whatever pen you can afford to send me, new or used, or even to send me a loaner pen so I can review and send it back to you. This is what fountain pens are all about. Fountain pens are amazing. That is truly my passion, my soul, my heart, my love, my life. Fountain pens. Jin Hao fountain pens. Calligraphy wood fountain pens. This fountain pen right here that Troy, my good friend, sent me, Laplante. This Plastic, beautiful, orange, red, with kind of a purple clip and blue finial on top. When Troy got through with this nib on this fountain pen, this fountain pen writes like you would never believe on paper. That's how much I enjoy it. But just to give you a rundown, don't think I'm just hooked on lavish, expensive, high-end pens. I love fountain pens. End of story. Mr. Announcer, would you do the honors in reading? Thank you. Now, it will be about this pen we're focused on. And sit back. Don't be in a hurry. This video may be a little bit lengthy, but hey... I'm going to tell you a story. Rather, Mr. Announcer is going to share with you a story about this fabulous fountain pen, in my opinion. Mr. Announcer. Throughout history, mankind has always shown a natural instinct to express their feelings, impressions, and experiences in words. By committing these words to writing, we encourage history to evolve, culture to spread, and civilization to grow. Nowhere has this individual expression of the human spirit been more intriguingly revealed than in the great novels and tales of literature. Nowhere else have such fascinating stories been created, stories that have not only inspired generations, but also shaped entire eras and cultural movements. This is why Mont Blanc, as a brand that is firmly anchored in writing culture, feels compelled by its entrepreneurial purpose and cultural duty to honor the most distinguished writers and authors of past times. With the Writer's Edition, issued every year since 1992 in a limited edition worldwide, Mont Blanc pays, pays tribute to the greatest icons of literary history. Rarely has a person been as passionate about flying as Antoine de Saint-Exupéry. Born in 1900, Antoine de Saint-Exupéry discovered a fascination for flying at the age of 12 a fascination which was to remain with him for the rest of his life. He not only craved the adventure of flight, he also longed to give literary expression to his experiences and philosophize about them. His life was full of extraordinary moments that he transformed into short stories and novels. Their success made him one of the most awarded and successful contemporary authors even during his own lifetime. It was Antoine de Saint-Exupéry who wrote the world's most read and translated French literary work, The Little Prince, published in 1943. His literary breakthrough, however, took place 12 years earlier with Night Flight, which told of his first nighttime flights in Argentina. The many details of the Mont Blanc Writer's Edition, Antoine de Saint-Exupéry, reflect both his airplane, 
the Cauldron C-630 Simon and his great passion for aviation. The deep night blue resin of the writing instrument is an homage to his novel Night Flight. Antoine de Saint-Exupéry is considered to be one of the greatest pioneers of the skies. He was an airmail pilot, test pilot, explorer of new flight routes, record-breaking long-haul pilot, and Renaissance reconnaissance pilot for the Free French Air Forces during the Second World War. Many details of his plane served as inspiration for the design of this writer's edition, including the engravings on the cap and barrel, which are reminiscent of rivets. The frame surrounding the cockpit window of his cauldron C-630 Simon inspired the design of the clip, while the cap ring and the platinum-coated fittings reflect details of the cockpit itself. Antoine de Saint-Exupéry's long-cherished dream of flying not only enabled him to experience many adventures, it also became part of his philosophy of life. Aviation led him back to the secret of being, to the mysteries of the universe. Many of these existential meditations found a place in his novel Night Flight, in which he reflects on his own childhood. As a young boy, he longed to travel to St. Maurice de Romans, which is honored by an engraving on the platinum-coated cone of the Deep Night Blue Writer's Edition. Also engraved on the cone are the locations of the places that played a decisive role in the life of St. Exupery. His extraordinary achievements made Antoine de Saint Exupery an almost mythic figure, making the mystery of his last flight even more bewildering. On Ju thir July 31, 1944, he took off on a flight over occupied France, which he never returned from. It wasn't until 54 years later that the wreckage of his plane was recovered near Marseille. To pay homage to the world famous literary figure, the Little Prince, one of the stars with which Antoine de Saint Exupery has illustrated his fairy tale is engraved on the handmade AU 750 gold nib, while the cap bears an engraving of his signature. The cap top is crowned with the Mont Blanc emblem. Well, folks, there you have it. Thank you, Mr. Announcer. Thank you for all the help that you give me each and every day when we do these video presentations. So here, again, is this wonderful, superb writing instrument. This is my opinion. I do love the Mont Blanc. I am a fan of Mont Blanc, but I'm also a fan of the Jin Hao. People ask me over and over again my favorite pen, and I tell them. People have told me that I am crazy to buy Mont Blancs because they're overrated and they're not worth the money. Well, that's your opinion, and you're entitled to your opinion, as I am entitled to my opinion. And this is one of my favorite fountain pens. They don't compare. They're not in the same league as a Jin Hao or uh, a Noodler's or a Twithby. I think each one of those are in their own group. So, I'll be right back. Okay, as we look at this pen, at the beginning of the video, I said black, because it does look black, but it does specifically say it's blue, and it is blue. And as I'm looking at this pen, it's almost, as I can see, some red through it like a translucent, but it's not. Uh... And I'm trying to look. I'm giving you firsthand what I'm seeing, what I'm feeling, 
my emotions, everything about this pen. And as I put the light on it, you can't see it, but I do see a dark, rich, beautiful blue. So I stand corrected because, you know, in the picture, it does show blue. And the reason why I said black, because it does show black. But when I put the light on it like I am now, it is a dark, beautiful blue. Just blue-black would maybe be better term to use. But folks, really, I'm not exaggeration how I'm feeling right now. I am totally blown away. I love fountain pens so much. I could even cry of happiness, of joy. And then I think about a flashback of the pens that were stolen. My beautiful pens that were stolen. Because I saved so hard and sold so many of my loving pens to get them. But that's life. Beautiful. And that red I'm seeing, I don't know if you're seeing it, I think I'm picking it up from the camera. That's what it is. It's not translucent because it's that little red dot. Can you just imagine being on this plane with Antonio flying? It's amazing. This pen tells a story. Mont Blanc tells a story. So, now we're going to do some pen comparison, so I'll be right back. All right, folks, I hope you're still with me, and I hope you're enjoying this video. Like I said, it's kind of lengthy, but you know what? Hey, if you're into pens like I am, you'll watch it to the very end. I never get bored with a pen review. All right, here is my new Mont Blanc, the Antonio Ryder, the Little Prince. So here we go with the pen comparison. Here's the Jin Hao 750. And the Little Prince Mont Blanc is a bit lengthier and a bit more girth than the 750. So let's go ahead and do a Jin Hao 159, another favorite. They are the same length. And the 159 has a bit more girth to it. Here's the Jin Hao, the latter. Of course, way more girth, no comparison. But it's just a bit longer than the Mont Blanc. Here's another magnificent pen, the Conklin All American, the brownstone. Look at that beautiful baby. The Mont Blanc is a, a, a tab longer. And I would say the All American has more girth to it. Then we'll go with a Pelican M1000. They are almost the same length. The Mont Blanc is just a tap tap longer. Not much, really. And the girth, I would say about the same. Yes. They sure look it to me. And with the Vanscotti Opera, they are in girth. Maybe the Mont Blanc has a little more girth to it, but not a whole lot. And they could be just about the same. But the, I think the Mont Blanc has a little bit more girth to it, and it's a bit longer. Now we'll step it up with the Sailor King of Pins. The King of Pins is longer 
and way more girth to it. So, that is that. So now, my friends, let's see what I'm going to do here next. One, two. I should have three. And I'll be right back. Okay, folks. I just had a meltdown, nervous breakdown, because I thought I lost one of my Mont Blancs, so I was fran frantically looking through everything, and I was about to freak until Mr. Announcer said, have you looked in your bag, my briefcase? Yes, because my pin case was in there, and I used it this morning at Starbucks. <sighs> okay, here we go. Sorry, folks, but anyway, here's my... Mont Blanc 149 with a 14K vintage, 1990. And here is my first of the Mont Blanc that started everything. Second, yeah. That started everything off. 149, 18K, Gold Lib, 14K vintage. Go nip, beautiful nips. And here is my LeBlanc 18K oblique medium nib with rose gold, beautiful fountain pen. So, this is the family of Mont Blanc so far. Beautiful fountain pens. As you can see, I can see the blue now. Yep, I can see that blue on the little pence showing on the Antonio right here. Beautiful pen. But here is the Mont Blancs, four of them. My journey will continue, God willing. So I'll be back and we'll do a writing sample of the Little Prince Broad Nip. Alrighty folks, now it's time for a writing sample and I hope you're with me. So the name of the pen is the... Antoine. Antoine. I've been saying Antonio. Ah, forgive me. Oh well. But I am really hyped up, excited, just... But I'm that way with any pen, right? If you all know me, keep up with me, you know I just love pens. So anyway, uh, use from Apple Boom, send me some uh, ink samples. There are Waterman's I didn't have, and I was mentioning to him that what do the colors look like. I have Waterman Blue, but I don't have the Waterman South Sea Blue. It's spelled B-L-E-U. Yes, blue. And the Waterman Blue Black. So we've decided to use the South Sea Blue. So let's get this little jewel fired up, inked up with some Waterman South Sea Blue. I have Mont Blanc inks, but I don't have a Blue Blue essay. So. Let me go ahead and get this ready, and we're going to dip it in, and it goes. Perfect fit. Turning the prop of the piston nice and slow, getting a good feel. Here we go. Here we go. And... It is full, and I will wipe off the nib. And before I get started with the writing sample, Mentor Announcer has a better vision than I do. Can you read the nib? And the nib, he'll read off to you. 
it is labeled uh, 2017, which I assume is going to be the, for the year. Uh, there is a star, uh, which has to do with the story of the Little Prince, I believe. Then there is the number 4810-18K. Uh, and then it says AU750 and Mont Blanc. Okay, hold on to that for a minute. Let me look at something here. Yeah, 2017, that's a new one there. And uh, because like my other one I'm looking at uh, that I bought from uh, Anderson Penn has the, you know, the Mont Blanc nib, the 4810, the regular standard Mont Blanc. But I just couldn't see that good enough. So let me look at it again, and I'll let you all see it here as well. And we'll take some close-up pictures with our cameras at the end of the video, and we'll post them. And you all can see it. But it really is a cool-looking nib. Got that beautiful star. Different type look. And I see that 2017 up there. That's cool. 18K. So it really looks cool. Nice looking nib. Okay. So. There's a pin post. I would say. No, it does not post. Fits fine in the hand. And I want to make sure that I am right. And it does not post. Alrighty. But it does fit fine in the hand. It's got some weight to it, but not enough weight to make your hand feel tired as you step down the barrel. Nothing sharp to hurt your fingers. The grip is a little narrow, not all that big, but ample enough room for my small fingers. If you have large fingers, you may hold it up here or up where the cap screws on, and it would be fine. For me, it doesn't feel sharp, uncomfortable. So here we go for some writing with the Waterman South Sea Blue. The ink I'm using today Waterman. Love it. blue and the pen is the Mont Blanc with uh, let's see the writers edition Antoine? Nice. Antoine. Antoine. Do you think? That's supposed to be a U. Okay, that's a U. Okay. All right, and the nib is a broad 18K gold. All right, now for some more writing. Here we go. I 
color pink. There you have it. And we'll do a few S's. And we'll do some wetness. Nice and wet. Upside down. But I really wouldn't push it to right with. It can be a fine, but nah, I'm not going to push it. Down strokes. Cross strokes. It does right nice and smooth. Love the feel of the pen. Just doodling. You don't have to do anything, just doodle. I like it. Nice. Very nice. And let me look at my ink here. Yep, it is a nice, rich, dark blue. I can see it nice and clear when I hold the slight to it. Really is nice. Mont Blanc does put out some very nice pens with very nice stories. Downstroke, cross stroke. Now, I tell you what, since I have the pen inked up, I will do the medium nib. Okay, this? now, while I have the pen uh, inked up my other Mont Blanc 149 with a medium nib, the ink is uh, just about out, but I think there may be enough to do a writing comparison. Here's a medium nib. So you do see that line variation there. I can tell it off the bat. Cross stroke and now you're down stroke. See this is the broad. Here's the medium. So there is some line variation there. Now we're going to take this piece of paper out and we'll do some writing here. Okay. Now we'll bring the new one out. And yes, it is a broad nib, and it does write sweet. Love the pen. Love it. 
Well, there you have it, folks. This is the new addition to my Mont Blanc family. The little prince has arrived, has flown in and landed at Larry's Fountain Pens. Beautiful fountain pen. Wonderful, enjoyable fountain pen. Hey, everybody. Thanks again for watching. I hope you enjoyed as much as I did this review on the Antoine de Saint-Exupéry, also known as the Little Prince. Thank you for watching, everybody. Hit that thumbs up if you found this uh, review interesting like I have. Please leave your comments below. This is a dark, rich blue, not black. You can really tell it in the light. Just a magnificent fountain pen. Thank you. Until next time, be safe and please don't text and drive. Peace. Later.